First, locate the coolant reservoir for your vehicle. For the E46, it's toward the front of the car on the driver's side. Once you've located it, unscrew the cap, but be careful if you've been driving recently as the liquid will be hot. The next step is to add the dye to your coolant reservoir. Um, I used only about half of the bottle and it was more than enough and you can see pictures at the end. Um, it literally turns it highlighter green. Um, and for reference, the E46 has about two gallons in the coolant system. Again, you just want to unscrew your coolant reservoir cap, which I'm doing here. Pour in about half of the dye, which I didn't get a good camera shot of. And then fill your reservoir to the correct um, height. Again, if you have a coolant leak, you've probably leaked some coolant and it is low anyway. The next step is to bleed the coolant system. The point of bleeding the coolant system is to ensure there's no air pockets trapped in the system, which could cause the engine to overheat. Ultimately, each car is different, but most cars have a bleed screw. The general premise behind the bleed screw is to remove the cap, fill up the coolant reservoir until it overflows out of the bleed screw, thus ensuring that there's no air in the system. After successfully bleeding your car, the final step is to find your leak. If you're able to drive the car, go ahead and do so because it will ensure that the dye is completely distributed in the cooling system. Uh, I drove my car for about 10 minutes and it worked perfectly. When I drained the coolant later, all of it was this highlighter green color and it was immediately apparent where my leak was coming from.